Hey guys, it's Tina here, recording my second uh, finger painting. So let me zoom in here so you guys can see what I got going on. Uh, today I'm going to do the apple, oh I guess I got that apple picture upside down. Today I'm going to do the apple picture. Uh, let's zoom back a little bit so you guys can see the paint paper. That looks pretty good I think. Let's turn this around so you guys can see it. So I wanted to do this one because I feel like you guys maybe want some advice on how to do some shading and highlighting. Move it in a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So here's here's my apple, my little apple slice. You see all my colors out. Oh, I suppose I should get some white out here too. Now, this is a you want to make this look three dimensional. So that's what we're going to talk a little bit about today. Oh, that's enough white for sure. Okay. The way we do this. To make it three-dimensional is we're going to, of course, start with the lighter color again. Here, I'm going to put some yellow in kind of where I'm going to have a highlight. And up along this area and along the top a little bit will probably be where some light is hitting, right? And down in the center of the apple there, it's going to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to put my yellow on. And then I'm gonna, I do have a little orange just because I'm going to blend from yellow to red and I don't want the colors to jump I want them to kind of blend you know blend together put a little orange on there and then I'm gonna go to my red now this finger paint stuff is um, pretty translucent so the red is looking pretty pinkish and I know in the last video I told you guys I'm kind of getting into pink but I really don't want a pink apple I'm gonna kinda get my hand up here and you do want to have just a little bit of red along this outer edge because that's going to make that apple look round to the eye. So you got to put quite a bit of this pink on, this red, I should say, that kind of looks pink. Got my paper towel again. I'll just wipe off the excess. And now, here's what I did. This, this stuff is acrylic. Now, the acrylic doesn't move like the finger paints do, so I'm going to just add a little bit of finger paint to the acrylic paint because I just want to darken down that edge a little bit. Darken it down along the bottom because it's typically more of the shadowed area and make sure you get kind of dark around the outer edges. And you see how that, it's quite a bit, it's just a little bit stronger color. Again, I want to kind of darken down that whole thing. I think this highlight kind of got a little too. I usually exaggerate that highlight when I start because I know as I'm painting along, I'm going to lose some of it. So it's okay if you put more yellow on than you think you're actually going to be using. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to use this red over here. You know, this is a pretty skinny line, so I'm not going to get too worried about it if I get some on the, you know, down here. I'm going to streak a little of that color anyways down here. Remember I talked about that before. If you have a color in one spot, you want to have it in another. So a little bit of red down there is going to be fine. And I am going to use a little, just a little bit of this darker red. Just because it's over in the apple, I want over here too. And, you know, this white is just kind of... Uh, I don't know, I think it's kind of boring just having this whole thing white. So I'm just going to put the littlest bit of red kind of on that apple, on the white part. It's really not technically how it looks, but I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Plus it's finger painting, right? We're just playing. Just playing as usual, guys. All right, I'm going to put some red up here in the, up above in the wall area, just because it's my main color in this painting. And I just for variety's sake, I'm going to put some green up here. You can make that stem. You can add a little green or touch a little brown in there. I don't have brown paint, so I'm just going to mix a little green and red together. That'll give me a sort of a gray-brown color. 
green and red are opposite each other on the color wheel. They're called complements. So if you mix two complements together, you're going to get uh, that brownish color. They also um, help each other to pop. So if you want a color to pop, if you put the, its complement on the painting, that'll pop it for you. And there, there's a much, it's not much on there. It's pretty, um, pretty light. Let me see if I can get a little darker for you guys. There's a stem, a little brown. Uh, you know. Here I go again, I've got to have all my colors in here. Oh, that's a kind of a blob. Let's smear that around a little bit. All right. I'm also going to sort of make a shadow over here. The highlight is on the right, so the shading is going to be more on the left. It's not really much of a shadow, but it's, it's kind of a shadow there because of the blue. And then let's just put some purple on just because. Just because we can. You just kind of kind of wiggle between the apple and the slice there. And typically along the edge where the, you know, it's called the horizon line when you got a sky and land. This is basically like the edge of the table or whatever this apple's sitting on. The edge of the counter, the shelf. I'm going to put a little bit more up in there. I need some blue over here because it's bugging me. Okay. There's your apple, you guys. It didn't take too long to do. Um, if you want more red, you can always just wait till it's dry and add some more red later. That's not a big deal. I'm just moving this back so I can say goodbye to you guys. So, if you guys want an actual picture of these things that I'm painting, can you just email, uh, just send me a message below. Um, or you can email me at tina at canvasandsoul.com and I'll send you a copy of the picture, painted picture, so you can uh, work from that. Um, otherwise, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and have a good night and we'll be talking to you soon. Bye!